we're going to talk about today is done with graphic technology. And the artists? Students in the Easton High School Interactive Media Production Career and Technology Pathway. We'd like to introduce you to Robin Warner, the Career and Technology Education Supervisor with Talbot County Public Schools, and Garnett Hines. She is the Interactive Media Production Teacher at Easton High School. Ladies, thank you both for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for Thank having you. us. We're talking about a program that showcases uh, student art at the Talbot County Free Library. Can you give us an interview of, of what's going on? So we've had a partnership with the Talbot County Free Library for the past four years. Students that complete the interactive media production pathway showcase their best work um, at the library. And normally we have that show in the spring, uh, but with the library being closed, we just launched that show and it showcases digital illustration, graphic design, film, animation, web design, a whole variety of interactive media elements that really reflect each individual student's skills and strengths uh, through the pathway. Now, Robin, I imagine this is a pretty popular pathway there at the Career and Technology Center. Right, so um, Talbot County actually um, has their career and technology courses are integrated into our two high schools at Easton High School and St. Michael's Middle High School. And we have um, this program of interactive multimedia is offered at both schools and it is a very popular program. Um, we have 11 programs in our two schools and we also have partnerships with Caroline and Queen Anne's County where we have an additional two programs and I would say that this is one of our more popular programs because students feel that you know they're able to express themselves and get skills that they can use um, outside of the classroom as well. And you've seen Garnett work with these students. Yes, I have. I had the um, privilege before being career and technology supervisor of working with Garnett both as a former CTE teacher myself and being an assistant principal of Easton High School for the last two years. So I've had the pleasure of um, being in her classroom and working with her students and seeing the beautiful work that, that they do create. Um, and how inspiring her classes can be. Um, her students, she finds a way to engage them um, and find things that interest them that they can apply the skills to. And also she finds projects that can better both the, the school and, and school district, the community. Um, they create lots of work that we use within our county, but also, like she said, the, the free library and other displays that are in town. All right, Garnett, so it's 13 students who are gonna have their work shown. Tell us about some of this work. Um, so the work, a lot of the work that's being showcased is work that was created in that spring semester. And I was so impressed with their support for each other, that creative community that we had built. They wanted to continue to support each other and interact with each other and create media that they were proud of. And I really think it reflects their resiliency during that time and just the power of, of art to heal and to, um, you know, that need to continue to create. And the work is really reflective of that endurance of the creative spirit. Yeah, and that's, I imagine, that's pretty uh, important, particularly during this uh, time. This is the fourth year for the program. Um, ha tell us, uh, have you always done this uh, collaboration with the library? So this is the fourth year of our collaboration with the library. The students usually hang the show themselves. It's in the main library space right now. Uh, this is the 15th year that I've been at Easton High School and the 13th year of the program. Okay. So each year I try to, you know, connect with our community. We have a really strong advisory board. We're connected with the Chesapeake Film Festival as well as a lot of local businesses. Um, iFrog, I have a lot of students that have interned there. So I'm always looking for ways to connect students with opportunities to uh, develop their media, obviously put themselves in the community and lead to possible jobs or career paths and, and be able to explore that. So this is just a, a wonderful extension of that. And the library has been incredibly supportive of us and welcomed us. All right. So how can we see the art for ourselves? So the work is up at the Talbot County Free Library um, in the Eastern Branch, and it's in the main space of the library. So when you walk in, it's just, you know, all throughout that main library space, including like the teen section as well as the youth section. So it's all throughout that space. And our plan is to have it up through the end of December. And there's a number of um, obviously 2D pieces, digital illustration and graphic design, but there's also 
film and animation and um, and web design that's being shared. And there's QR codes that are posted on posters that, that people can interact with and then go and see some of those student pieces. Because as I said, the, there's such a diversity to the students and their media and what they're interested in. And I really try to support them on that pathway. So in that last class, we really tried to, you know, build that portfolio. And a number of the students are, you know, continuing on to career paths. I have a student going to Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, we've had students that go to MICA and RISD and, you know, um, Art Center in California. So uh, they're really well prepared to continue on um, once they finish the pathway at Easton High School. And that's what it's all about. Robin Warner and Garnett Hines with the Talbot County Public Schools. Thank you both so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.